wanted my picture to be me. Not to look like me, not to seem like me, because I don't know what I look like. Well, okay, yeah, that is, I know what I look like, but I don't know how other people perceive me. Like, what do you believe when you look at me? When I look at my image in the mirror, I understand the meaning of its composition. I remember when my friend bleached my hair. I notice the lordosis kyphosis in my spine. No one else sees it, but I do because I can feel the pain in my back. And I know there's a scar under my lip from when I was seven, and I know my hair is short because it used to be long. But how on earth could a picture of me mean anything to an audience of strangers? Because I'm not a black and white photo, when I look at the negatives, I see someone else. This project was hard for me at first. I didn't know how to put myself on paper, but as I washed the chemicals over the page, I realized photography isn't about capturing a still image. You have to create something. I had to create myself, like a pastry, or a minuet. Stop, do it again. But I think with this project, that's become something beautiful to me. Because as I made these photos, I created myself, and I got to become just like you, another stranger, looking at a photo of someone and trying to decide what to believe about them. Um, so that's why I took a more abstract approach to this project, um, and why these photos are super blurry and poorly lit and out of focus. That was the artistic intention. I don't get it. I'm sorry. <laughs>